So here we go. It's the machine, George O'Leary versus the condom caretaker, Robbie Chapman. Oh, an aggressive start from O'Leary. Um, I'll tell you a fun fact. Uh, Camden caretaker actually beat me in the amateurs. <laughs> oh, wow. So he's yeah. got a bit of pedigree then. Yeah, he does. He does. He fought <laughs> three times. He beat me twice. I beat him once, but good fighter. And if you're unsure who's who, Chapman is the guy with the longer hair. The black and silver. O'Leary with the the black short with Ooh, the silver this is trim. A fiery start from both men here. This is the thing with, with journeymen, you can't take them lightly or for granted. Because if they feel like they can beat you, they're gonna step on it and, and, and take the W. I mean Chapman's got thirty six professional contests. O'Leary, this is his second pro contest. I guess Chapman's probably had a look at this guy and thought, you know what, he's only got one fight, not very experienced, I'm going to try and do a number on this guy. Yeah, yeah he thinks he's gonna, probably going to test him and push him and see see how good he is. I think one of, um, I think, oh, good shots. Both boxers loading wow. up there. I think, I think well, Chapman o o also has victories up at Cruiserweight, so, you know, if he feels like he can push it, he's going to push you. Robbie Chapman's got 10 victories out of his 36 contests. Just the one stoppage. But don't be misled by his record. He's a very experienced fighter. He has beaten a few good guys in the amateurs as well, apparently. <laughs> oh, both boxers loading up with big shots there. This is dangerous tactics from both guys. This, this would be good for O'Leary if he comes through this victorious. Then he knows, you know, you can't take these people for granted. If he ever did, I'm not saying he did, but if he did. You know you can't take journeying for granted. <laughs> Some showboat in there. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite sure what Chapman was doing there, but uh, he's very experienced. He's probably trying to throw O'Leary off his game a little bit. Seems to be enjoying himself in there tonight. The type of character you only seem to get in professional boxing. Yeah, most definitely. Chapman just evaded the shot. Oh, that's a oh, good punch again. Good one too from Chapman. O'Leary needs, needs to keep his lead hand up. I think there's a little bit of blood around the mouth of O'Leary. Yeah, there is. Oh, he takes a big right hand as well. He needs to get that left hand up tighter. It's swaying too much. It's on the hip. He needs to get it up and cover his face with it. How are you scoring this round? Uh, I think I think Robbie gets this round. I think he's landed the better shots. Yeah, he, definitely. He's, he's having fun. He's enjoying himself. Yeah. 
So into the second round, I wonder what George O'Leary's corner man told him there after what was a really tough opening round, a round that he possibly lost. He's come out a little bit faster. I think he wants to try and change the pace of this and throw Robbie Chapman off his game. But that was a good job by was, Chapman. That was a good job by Chapman. Wow, good right hand from Chapman too. Chapman's using a sort of a shoulder roll defence. Yeah, he was, he was successful with it too. Chapman's moving at the waist to avoid a lot of these shots. Yeah. Chapman, he's, he's got good movement. Good defence, as you'd have to as a journeyman if you want to keep boxing week in, week out. But he's also throwing good shots. And I think O'Leary's going to have to dig deep to get the victory here. I but noticed Chapman, he's moving to his left quite often and coming back with a left hook. Yeah, Chapman does look the bigger man also. And it looks like he's taking advantage of that. Chapman last one in September 2000, sorry, 20, uh, 2022. Against Ziggy McCauley. He's had a couple of draws in between as well. But he's uh, definitely looking to get the win tonight. And there we see that shoulder again. He's using, just using his left shoulder as a guard. And he's forcing O'Leary back now. This is a real test of character for George O'Leary from Essex. Goes by the nickname of Machine. Lands a good job there. Oh, good right hand from Robbie also. Remember, this is only a four-round contest, so it's crucial to try and win every single round. 100%. I think he's got to win every round from here on. Chapman shaking his head. Otherwise, the best he can get is a draw. Usually, when a boxer shakes his head, it normally actually means they're hurt, but in this case, I don't think Robbie Chapman has been hurt at all. He's just hes really comfortable. He's actually enjoying himself in there. He is, he is. Clowning around a little bit. And, and landing at will. I think George O'Leary looks a little bit bemused. He's not quite sure how to even deal with Robbie Chapman with all his antics. And this is why you can't take... Oh, oh lovely left, left hook. hook. Oh, he's hurting it. Oh, and down goes back. George O'Leary. It was the left hook as well, I think. And this is going to be a real test of character of George O'Leary. The referee's looking very closely. And here comes Robbie Chapman. Oh, and a good left. Wow. On the bell. Saved by the bell. O'Leary's hurt there. He needs to recover him. Into the third round, and George O'Leary was in real trouble there at the end of the second. Has a minute been enough for him to recover? I hope so. But if he wants to win this fight, I think he needs a knockout, which is going to be very tough. Robbie doesn't get knocked out much often if he does at all. Robbie Chapman only been stopped twice in his 22 losses, although he does take oh, a big shot there. Left and hooks. O'Leary again looks on shaky legs. He's going to get stopped here, I think. The referee's looking closely. And he's taking punishment now. His guard is high. There's not much coming back from O'Leary. Oh, well, that's better from him. He's showing real heart and courage here. He's not just going to take a defeat. I think, I think O'Leary needs to look at going down the weight. Uh, Robbie Chapman looks big for him at this point, and this is that super middleweight, I think he is. Uh, this is a light heavyweight, and O'Leary does look wow. small for a light heavyweight. Yeah. As I said before, Robbie's got a victory at cruiserweight, so, you know, he's a big lad. Credit to O'Leary, he's doing well to he is, he's come back, back in this round, because the way he walked back to the corner at the end of the last round... He seemed all over the place. That was a oh, good, good, job jab, good job from O'Leary. There we go. He's showing heart. He's showing character. He's coming back. That's what you like to see from fighters. Showing heart and biting down on the gum shield and coming back. Regardless of if they're winning or not. He's showing he wants it. Good left hook. I'm surprised Chapman is not being more aggressive in this round. Or whether he's just waiting for his moment. Ooh, good left hook to the body. Perhaps he feels just a... One. 
a case of waiting for his moment to yeah, he's probably waiting land for a the shot. To let his shots off and then he's going to come back with his. Good contest. Or as you said, does he just feel he's, he's got the contest in the bag now, so there's no point doing anything careless? Yeah, well, that's also um, a possibility. Nice body shots from O'Leary. Robbie Chapman not doing a massive amount this round. That was, that was a good, good looping right hand, right hand from O'Leary. He's shown heart this round. You know, he was hurt last round and he's come back with a fiery start and he's kept, he's kept it up for the whole round and I, I respect that. Blood now from the nose of George O'Leary from Essex. Oh, lovely left hook. Good counter left from, from, Robbie, from Chapman. Robbie Chapman. And another right hand from Chapman. Oh, O'Leary's fighting hard. He's got good support here. He doesn't want to let his supporters down, so he's fighting hard. But Ch Chapman's just that little bit better. A little bit cleaner with his shots also. And his counters. Whatever happens in this contest, credit for George O'Leary for showing a massive heart. Yeah, most definitely. Final round of us being an excellent contest between George O'Leary and Robbie Chapman. Chapman will be considered the journeyman coming into this contest, but he's showed that not all journeymen are just there to let them, uh, a prospect pick up a win. He's had George O'Leary down and all over the place during this contest, and we think he's winning. Yeah, I, I have him up in my school cut. I think, I think O'Leary could have won the last round, but then that's, you know, two rounds to one for Chapman plus the lockdown so I think he needs a knockdown to get a draw if I'm being honest with you nice job from Chapman Chapman very patient using his job well in this round and there we see it again dip into the left and coming back with a left hook George O'Leary showing a lot of heart. It must have been a really tough contest for him. Only his second pro contest. But still he's fighting away, trying to retrieve this contest, trying to get something from it. Blood pouring down out of his nose. He's had to really dig, he's had to really dig deep here, O'Leary. Chapman looks the more comfortable fighter. O'Leary's having to dig deep, his mouth's open because his nose is bleeding and he's digging deep, I have, to, I have to respect it, but this is why you don't take these journeymen lightly, you prepare for them because they can wake up one morning and think, you know what, today I want to win and that could change the landscape of the night. A lot of these journeymen and I guess Robbie Chapman would fall into that category, they take a lot of these contests at very late notice against opponents in their backyards, fighting out their natural weight category so their record can be very misleading. Yeah. O'Leary grabbing hold just to catch a breather. Remember, there's no judges for this contest. It's a scoring referee. So he will decide the winner should it go the distance. It's strange, actually, that George O'Leary's probably boxed better and more aggressively since he's been knocked out. Yeah, most definitely. I don't know whether it's a case that he felt he had to to try and you know, win the contest, which may be the case, but you know, full credit to him for coming back in this, and he's made a real fight. Hey! And down goes, wow, down goes Robbie Chapman. Wow, wow, what a fight. He pulled himself wow. back in the fight now. That's turned this fight on his head. And there's the final wow, bell. What a fight. And the boxers embracing them. Um, Credit to both guys. This referee's got a tough decision to <laughs> make now. He's got a tough decision to make. Wow.